Hello everyone! Today we're going to make a video about the experiments of the natural indicators in some solutions. First, I'm going to talk about the solutions. There are three types of solutions which are acids, bases, and neutral. Acids are the compounds that increase the proton concentration in solutions, while bases are the compounds that increase the hydroxide concentration in solutions. And neutral our substances are neither acidic or basic. After knowing about these three solutions, then you guys might ask, how do you know that this solution is an acid or how do you know that this solution is a base? Well, there is one way to identify them, that is using acids and bases indicators. Acids and bases indicators are substances that can change color when they come in contact with acids and bases. They can change color because there are differences in pH, wherein acids have a pH below 7, neutral solutions have a pH that are 7, and bases have a pH above 7. There are many examples of, ma of acids and bases indicators. One of them are a uh, litmus paper, and there are also pH meters, and the third is natural indicators. In this video, we're going to use natural indicators to know which solution is acid and which solution is basis. One of the ways to know whether a solution is an acid or base is by using a natural acid-base indicator. We will know whether the solution is an acid or base by observing the changes of colors the solution made. But since there are many different types of natural acid-base indicators out there, the color changes might be different depending on the indicator you use. Now, let's see some examples. Hi, I'm Hasna, and for today's experiment on acids and bases natural indicators, I'm going to use beetroots. The acid and bases solutions you'll need for this experiment is first white vinegar, lemon, mineral water, baking soda, and lastly detergent. And for the natural indicators, today we're going to use beetroot. Step 1 is to prepare the acids and bases solutions. So first, we need to cut the lemons. And now we need to squeeze the lemon so all the juices can come out. And after that, we need to pour it to a glass. The second one is baking soda solution and for this you only need water and baking soda. And make sure to stir well. The last one is detergent solution and you only need detergent and water and make sure to stir well. Since today we're using beetroot as the indicators, we need to cut the beetroots into small pieces. And then we're going to put the beetroots in the blender. Pour water into the blender and make sure to put enough water so it can blend well. Because we only need the extract of the beetroot and we don't need all the chunks, we're now gonna strain it until only the water are left. The third step is to mix the acids and bases solutions with the indicators together. First, we're going to mix the acid solutions first and then move on to bases and now the first is lemon. And make sure to stir it well. The second acid is white vinegar. And now we're going to mix the bases solutions and the first is baking soda. And the second base is the detergent solution. And lastly, we're going to mix it with the neutral one which is mineral water. Now it's time for the results, but before looking at the results, we need to look at this table first. This table basically says that if the solution turns red, that means that it's acidic and if it turns purple, then it's base. Now let's take a look at the solutions. If we take a closer look, the lemon solutions turns pink, the vinegar solutions turns dark red. And that tells us that lemon and vinegar are acids. Meanwhile, the mineral water stays at its original color. 
and that tells us that mineral water is a neutral solution. And if you take a good look, the baking soda solution and detergent solutions turns a bit purple and that tells us that baking soda and detergent is a base solution. And that's all for the acids and bases, natural indicators experiments using beetroots. Hi, I'm Shelly, and for today's experiment of natural acid and base indicators, I'm going to use red cabbage. For the material I'm using today, of course some red cabbage, some baking soda, mineral water, lemon juice, bleach, and dish soap. First, we need to blend the red cabbage. Make sure to add enough water so the cabbage can blend well. Blend until there's no big chunks of red cabbage left. After it's well blended, next, we need to strain it since we will only be using the water. Now in front of me, I've prepared five acid and base solution that I've mentioned before into small clay glasses, which are lemon juice, baking soda solution, which is baking soda diluted by some water, mineral water, dish soap solution, and also bleach. And by using the red cabbage water we made previously, we are going to see whether these solutions are acid, base, or neutral by mixing them together. And here we can see the various colors it made after mixing the two solutions together. As you can see that the lemon juice turned pink, which means that the lemon juice is an acid with a pH under 7. While the mineral water didn't have any changes of color, which means that the mineral water is a neutral with a pH level of 7. For dish soap, it also turned purple, but a lot darker than the mineral water. That means dish soap is more alkaline than mineral water, with a pH slightly over 7. For baking soda solution and bleach, we can see that the baking soda turned blue and the bleach turned slightly yellow, which means that both are also alkaline or base. If we compare it to the table above, we can see that the bleach which turned yellow is a stronger base than baking soda that turned blue. That's all for the experiment of that cabbage as a natural acid and base indicators. Thank you! Now I'm gonna do the experiments with blueberries as the natural indicators in acid, bases, and neutral solutions. These are all the ingredients that we need for the acid and bases experiment. First, we have blueberries. Next, we have lemon that will have to be squashed bleach, mineral water, vinegar, and baking soda. First, we gotta pour all the blueberries into the blender so that we can take the blueberry juices. Next, we pour enough water so that the blueberry can blend well. Now we turn on the blender so that all the blueberries can be blended. After we blend all of the blueberries, now we have to strain it with a strainer so that we can only take the blueberry juices. Now, after we done preparing all of the ingredients, we can do the experiment. Here, I put the baking soda solution, bleach, mineral water, vinegar, and lemon juice. Now, we can put all the blueberries water into these all solutions. First, let's try the baking soda solution. We put two spoons in each solution.
Now we mix them to see the color changes. The second one, bleach. Mineral water. Vinegar Next, we have lemon juice For the blueberries, we can see from the table that if the solutions are acids, so it will change the color into red if it's neutral, it will change the color into purple or maybe brown. And if it's basis, it will change the color into green or maybe yellow. We can see that lemon juice and vinegar both turn into red. It means that both of the solutions are acids. Next, we have mineral water. Mineral water has the same color with the blueberry water, so it means that mineral water is neutral. And for bleach and baking soda, both of them turn into green and soft green. It means that both of them are basic solution. That's all for the blueberry experiment as the natural indicators of acids and bases. Now, let's move on to the next experiment. Hi, I'm Shelly, and in this experiment of natural indicator for a and basis, I'm gonna use turmeric. These are all the ingredients that we need for the turmeric experiment. First, we have turmeric that has been stripped out of its skin, and then we have vinegar, lemon that will have to be squashed, mineral water, and baking powder but turns out I can't use baking powder for this experiment so I choose to use baking soda and the last one is detergent for the first ingredient we have to chop turmeric into tiny pieces after that you can put the turmeric pieces into the blender and you have to put enough water so that it can blend well next we'll just have to turn on the blender and let it blend well after we blend it, then we'll have to strain the turmeric with a strainer so that we only have turmeric water. Next, for the lemons, we have to squash them so that we'll only get the lemon juice. So, after we're done preparing all the ingredients, now let's try the experiment. Here, I've put vinegar in a transparent glass, lemon juice, mineral water, baking powder solution and detergent solution now let's try putting the turmeric water into all this acid and basis compounds first let's try the vinegar and then we have to mix them to see the color change and then We'll put it into lemon juice. Here I, only, I will only put two spoons of turmeric water. Next, mineral water. Next, we have baking soda solution. And the last one is detergent solution. Okay, before we take a closer look, please look at this table. Here it says, if we put turmeric water into acids, then we'll get a yellow color. If we put turmeric water into neutral compounds, then we'll also get yellow. If we put turmeric water into bases, then we'll get a red color. If we take a closer look, vinegar and lemon juice turns into yellow, means both of these are acids. For mineral water, it turns to yellow 
and it has the same color as the turmeric water, so it means mineral water is neutral. For baking soda solution and detergent, baking soda solution turn into a brownish color and detergent color certainly turn into a red color. So this means both of them are bases. That's all for the turmeric water experiment. Hi, my name is Anastasia Laras. In this next experiment, I'm going to show you how to make pH indicators using red skin apple extract. So we could know which of the solutions are acids and which of the solutions are base. Alright, now let's start the experiment. Let's start with the ingredients. For the indicators, I'm using red apple. This is a good indicator because red color from the apple is bright and easy to see. And for the acids basis solutions, I'm using 5 different materials which is lemon juice, mineral water, baking soda, vinegar, and detergent solution. Now let's make the red apple skin extract. You need 35 grams of apple skin and a cup of water. Put in a pan and boil it in medium heat for 4 minutes until the red color in the apple skin is faded. Drain the extract and let it cool for a moment. After it's cool, now let's test the acids and base solution. Put a few drops of apple skin extract in each solution with a pipette. Stir well and pay attention to the color changes. Alright, so now all the solutions are mixed. We can see there is a various color produced. According to the pH matter chart here, acid solution are likely to produce darker red color and base solution are likely to produce greenish color. So by looking closely to the color change, vinegar and lemon juice are categorized as acid because they have dark red color. And we got detergent and baking powder as base solution because they made green color. And for mineral water, we got light pink color, which means mineral water are neutral solution. You guys are probably wondering what criteria must be met to be an acid or base indicators. In general, indicators are just basically organic weak acids or organic weak bases that have the characteristic of having different colors. And to to be an acid and base indicators, the substances need to be a stable one meaning that it won't be easily influenced by outside factors. And the second criteria is the substances need to show consistent results of color change if it were to be mixed with an acid or base solution. Alright, so that's it for our video. We hope our video could help you to study acid and bases. Thank you for watching!